Hey guys, Ricky here. All right, so uh, over the last few months, I've been on a huge kick for finding the best sharpening whetstones for my Japanese knives. Uh, as you guys may know, I love Japanese knives. And uh, this is the Masamoto VG 210 uh, millimeter Gyoto, which is one of the best knives you can find for, I believe, $160 retail. Um, you can find them lower. I'll post uh, some links below and you can see where you can get them for lower than uh, typical retail prices. But um, I've gone through a lot of stones uh, and I've got the Chapman Pros over here, the 1,000, 5,000 stones, which are the ceramic, uh, artificial stones, uh, splash and go, so you don't need to soak them. And another set of splash and goes, which are really, really cool, are the Arashiyama's 1,000 and 6,000. Thousand, thousand, sorry about that. Uh, then I've been all, um, one of my first set of stones that, I were, uh, that I've been using is the, the Besser 5, or Bestin 500, uh, Besser 1200, and the Suhiro Rika 5000, okay? So recently, um, I've heard that uh, Suhiro came out with a new line of stones called the Cyrax, um, this is one of them, and this is the Cyrax 1000, and it's supposed to compete against the you know, other stones out there uh, that are soaking stones like the, the Bester 1200s and um, you know, there are many, many, many various uh, brands of stones out there, but uh, I've always been a huge fan of uh, Suhiro's. They've always made really nice uh, whetstones in general. And so this is, uh, uh, this is the new Cyrex 1000 and this is, it is velvety smooth, okay? If you, um, if you have a chance to hold this stone and uh, you know, sharpen with it, um, this is my first time sharpening with a stone, okay? I've just flattened it and um, it does not feel like a 1000 stone. I mean, it's so velvety smooth. It feels like a, you know, a 3000 grit stone. And um, so I'm, I'm kind of interested in seeing how well this performs relative to the Bester 1200, which has been one of my favorite stones uh, uh, of all time in terms of, uh, you know, the kind of medium grit stone. So, uh, you know, this is not a comparison between all the stones and which I'll do another video some other time and kind of walk you through the differences between all the different stones um, and hopefully pick my number one stone set or my, my uh, you know, my best, my favorites. Uh, but this is just a comparison of the, or not really just a, um, a test of the CRX 1000 grit stone, which uh, I've heard, I haven't heard a whole lot about, um, but I'm just interested to see. Um, you know, I've always liked their products, so I think this will be a, a very good stone as well. And uh, here we are. So we'll just start. Wow. Okay. So right away, you have uh, excellent knife uh, stone feel, and this thing it feels awesome. Uh, you've got great feedback. And uh, it seems to be a very fast cutting stone, which in my opinion uh, is a good thing overall, but you have to be careful um, that if a stone cuts too fast, it doesn't give you that uh, kind of that, um, that opportunity to really uh, learn the stone or, or your knife really. So you want a stone that's not too hard, not too soft. That, uh, that doesn't cut too quickly, and if it cuts too quickly, it kind of takes the joy away from sharpening your knife. And this is not a tutorial of how to sharpen your knife. Um, there are a lot of good tutorials out there, and uh, I'm not a master knife sharpener, so I won't uh, try to, uh, you know, tell you how to sharpen your knife. So there's uh, plenty of videos you can learn that from. This is a really, really fast sharpening stone. And uh, I've done two passes, and already, you know, I've developed a pretty good burr along the, uh, the length of the knife. I think this should do it for this side. Yeah, this is excellent. Wow. Okay, and I like to flip my stone uh, to the other side when I switch sides. That way you can, you know, you can... Um, spread the wear of the stone a little better. Uh, this, this is a faster cutting stone than the Besser 1200, okay? Uh, at least to my, to my experience right now. Um, not to say it's a better stone, but it, it definitely is a faster cutting stone. 
Um, the only thing is it is collecting um, a little bit more uh, metal from the knife, uh, which is not bad. It's just you've got to be aware of that and uh, keep it uh, keep it nicely uh, wet. The stone. Um, I this has only been soaking for like ten minutes or so. It should soak a little longer. So I imagine if I soak the stone a little longer, uh, I wouldn't have this issue right now. And uh, yeah, so. Yeah, I mean, I think that was my second pass, and it's already developing a burr on the other side as well. So, I really like this stone so far. Let's see, where am I? Okay. Sorry for the, uh, I should have filled up the bucket with more water, it's kind of moving around a little bit. Slightly annoying, but what do you do? Okay. Wow, okay, so I think three passes on each side and uh, it's developed a, you know, a very nice burr along the length of the knife. And uh, yeah, we can switch stones now. Uh, so this is the Suhiro Rika 5000. Uh, it is my uh, possibly my favorite 5,000 grit stone, and um, it's it's an amazing stone. It doesn't leave a mirror polish, okay? So for those who want a mirror polish, I would recommend going to the Arashiyama 6000. That leaves a much, um, actually much finer, but it leaves a, a mirror-like polish. You know, it's very, very, very fine polish. Uh, it's a very soft stone, so just be aware if you guys are new to sharpening. Um, you know, it's a sharp, it's a softer stone, so it's 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 important that you guys keep a um, a consistent edge uh, angle on the edge. If you don't do that, uh, you you do risk the knife cutting into the stone. I'm not using a lot of pressure on this stone right now. Um, generally, you don't want to use a lot of pressure at all. Uh, you want to let the kind of the, the weight of your arms and your hand uh, and uh, and the stone do the work. So I'm not using too much pressure. And with each pass, uh, I generally lighten my pressure as well. And when I say pass, it's basically when I get from tip to tip. So even though I'm going, you know, multiple strokes uh, every few seconds. Uh, I go from, you know, once I get from this uh, front point to the edge, that's for me one pass. That's just a way for me to keep track of my counting. And uh, anyone, you know, you guys, there's many different ways to keep track of how you guys sharpen your knives. Now I've read in some, uh, or I've read whatever I've seen, or I've heard people say, you gotta sharpen your knife. You know, you gotta be sharpening your knives for about a year to become a master, or not a master, but to be proficient uh, at sharpening your knives. I think that is bogus. Um, I think if you focus on proper technique and um, really just you know being consistent, uh, you can 
you know, maybe after a half a dozen sharpenings, maybe after a dozen sharpenings, you can become a pretty, uh, pretty good sharpener and uh, certainly, you know, good enough to sharpen any knife in the kitchen. Uh, so <clears throat> don't get discouraged if you guys are learning how to sharpen knives and uh, you're, you're struggling, you know, uh, it's okay. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, don't listen to those people who say that you have to sharpen knives for a year or two years before, you know, before you're a good knife sharpener. That's completely bogus. And, um, you know, I also see a lot of people um, will want to have like four or five stones. You have, they have a, you know, they go through a progression of a 500 grit stone to a 1000 grit stone to a 2000, 3000, 4000, 6000, 8000. Uh, save your money. Don't do that. Just go get yourself a good 1,000 or 1,200 grit stone or even a 2,000 grit stone. Um, the difference between a 1,000 and a 2,000 is if you guys were to, you know, if you're the type that would like to sharpen your knife every two to three days or maybe even every week, a 2,000 will, will work just fine. And uh, the 1,000 grit stone is more for, you know, it takes off more material. So if you would like to sharpen your knife uh, once a week, or once every two weeks or once every three weeks, a 1,000 will work a little bit better or 1200, the best of 1200 is a great stone for that. Um, I like to sharpen my knife once a week or once every other week if I have, you know, if I'm low on time, then once every other week. Um, but, you know, with, with that, I find that the 1000 is perfectly uh, suited uh, for, you know, for that sort of sharpening. So, uh, a 6000 grit stone, you know, the polishing stones, the 5000, 6000, they don't make your knife sharper at all, okay? So just be aware, they keep your knife uh, shinier, longer, and if you have a carbon knife, they actually keep the, the uh, rust and the patina um, off the knife better if they are, if they are glossy and shiny. So um, just be aware that a polishing stone is only for that purpose. It's to polish your knife. It's not to make your knife sharper. It'll help your knife stay sharper longer, but you don't need a polishing stone to begin with, okay? So, um, you know, just get yourself a good 1,000 grit stone. Stick with it for a while if you guys are on a budget. Uh, Kingstone's a good place to start. Uh, the Bessers are a great place to start. Uh, the Rashiyama's 1000s are also really good stones. Okay, so it's really not about the stone. Uh, you know, you'll 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 see amateurs. Uh, you know, they'll they'll have tons and tons of stones, but guys like Murray Carter, uh, John from Japanese import, Knife Imports, uh, you know, they 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 tell you it's it's all about technique. And uh, Murray Carter will have one stone. And I can guarantee you his. Him sharpening a 1,000 stone is better than what I can do with all the stones that I have in my in, in fr right in front of me here. So, you know, um, <clears throat> so yeah, work on your technique is basically what I'm saying. Okay, we're done uh, sharpening. Now we're just going to remove the burr. And um, there's many ways to do it. Uh, I like to just do broad strokes. Um, And uh, it's nothing fancy. It's just basically you're stropping at this point and uh, you're basically just removing the burr a bit at a time. And uh, this is also polishing the knife, uh, polishing the edge. And uh, I made this really cheap wooden stand which I should have gotten a wider thick of a piece of wood but uh, it's good because it's actually forcing me to really keep the knife leveled and uh, so it's actually helping me improve my technique uh, much better than I've had a nice wide base okay now, I, also, I don't use anything fancy. I just use the base itself. It's a really cheap and soft wood. Uh, some people like to go out and buy expensive materials and uh, accessories for sharpening knives. Uh, again, none of that's necessary. And, um, but to each his own. Again, this... Arashiyama, um, Arashiyama, this Suhiro Rika doesn't leave a, a, a uh, you know, a 
a mirror-like polish. It leaves a very nice satin finish, which I actually think is a better look than a mirror polish. Sometimes I think a mirror polish looks uh, cheap, if that's the right word. Now for the test of truth. How well it's a cut. Well, we'll find out. Uh, I've seen people say you should test it by putting the knife on your nail and, and running the knife. I, I don't think that's a very wise idea, but that's just me, um, Mr. Conservative, okay? Um, test it on paper. I don't think paper is a really a, a, the best way, but I know a lot of people on YouTube cut paper, so uh, so here we go. The little paper cut. Okay, let's go over here. <clears throat> okay, so paper is actually a little wet. Uh, I was playing with it before, but um, let's find a dryer side. Ooh. Let's get a different sheet. Okay. Okay, this is thicker. This is gonna be... Yeah, okay. So as you can see, it's fairly sharp. Um, very sharp. So, I mean, this, this is... Um, I mean, how... How much sharper do you want your knife? Uh, this is razor sharp. Um, some guys like to see this swirl. As you can see, it's a really clean, swiggly line, and uh, yeah, I mean it's an it's razor sharp, and that sharpness is from your first stone. So that's the primary cutting stone, okay? Which is uh, in this case, it's the uh, Cerax. This is the Sihiro Cerax 1000 grit stone. Um, based on my first initial sharpening, it's an awesome stone, okay? Um, they're, you know, I think they're like $55 or $60 uh, retail. Um, I'll post some links below. You can, there are places where you can save some money. Um, but that is, it's an awesome stone. You can see right there. Uh, there are no cuts in this video. Um, this is a Rika, the Suhiro Rika 5000. Um, it's an awesome polishing stone. And it doesn't leave a, a mirror polish on your knife, but it leaves a, just a very nice satin, professional looking a finish, which I think is a better looking polish than a mirror polish. Um, but you know, the uh, put that away. The, if you guys want a mirror polish, the Arashiyama 6000 is that stone. It's a, it's an amazing stone. It's also called a Tokeno uh, 8000. So as, as you can see, 8000, 6000, there really is no difference. It really comes down to a marketing purpose or a marketing strategy by certain different brands, but um, this is a 6,000 grit stone, awesome stone. It's a little on the soft side, so just keep that in mind, okay? Um, this stone is not as soft as the Arashiyama 6,000. It's a, I mean, it's a, it's a perfect stone. If you guys are looking for a polishing stone um, that's very, very affordable, I think these are like $55 retail. Um, again, I'll post some links below. Uh, awesome, awesome stones. So there you have it, the Cerax 1000, uh, amazing stone. I think this is going to be my, f uh, this is so far my favorite 1000 uh, medium grit stone. So um, this will probably be the new benchmark in terms of 1000 grit stones. I'll use this this stone to kind of compare and um, set a standard for all my other stones that I'm going to be comparing. And um, I got some uh, Masamoto's. Uh, Masamoto's came out with a you know a, a line of uh, whetstones, which I'm very excited to test. Uh, I'll have them here hopefully in the next couple of weeks, and uh, um, they're really interesting because I've never seen any retailers carry them. And they're you know Masamoto knives. I they are my f my favorite brand of knives, and so I'm really excited to try some of their whetstones out. Um, but over the next few videos, I'll do some compare like actual side you know side by side comparisons of similar grit stones uh, with the the Shaptons, the Urashiyamas, uh, the Besters, and uh, compared to the uh, Sihiro Cerax. And 
Again, I've got other stones coming that I'm going to be playing with. Again, this is all for fun. Uh, I, I love knives and I love researching them. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever it is. And I will see you guys next time.